In this video, we're going to make a pin or a connector and a hole for it. And then we are going to show how we can put tolerances on a drawing. So what I want to do is we have our pin. And so what we'll do is we will measure that pin with our dial caliper. All right. Uh, and whatever the dimension we get on that dial caliper, we're going to make the pin that size. This is 0.190 is the pin and then one of the holes that it fits into so uh, one of the holes that it fits into here will do the same thing so this center hole of number one is 0 0.178 so I'm gonna try to remember those two measurements as we go all right I'm gonna right click here and say new component and I am just going to make my first component on a sketch here I'm just going to make that component a little circle. Uh, let's make that circle 1.5 inches. And I'll zoom in on here. And then I'll make another one right in the center at that same hole. And that hole was 0 0.178. I believe that's what it was. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to finish the sketch and extrude. And we're going to extrude it this way. Just a little ways, just for just so we can show what's going on. And click OK. Now I'll go ahead and make another component. Hit OK. And we'll make this sketch right on this face here. And I will make another circle. And this will be my pin. Well, I said my pin was 0.190. And now I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to make sure I zoom in when I extrude here, and I'm going to select the outside, the entire outside circle and the inside circle, so both of those, because this is going to be what we know as an interference fit. I'm going to go two ways on this one, and I'll just drag it out a little bit here and this way, so it goes inside the hole a little bit and comes out this way like that. All right, great. Very simple. That's all we need to do. I'm now going to activate the top component. Right, so this I can call this, uh, when I save it, I'll call it interference fit, uh, something like that. So let's go ahead and, and put this on a title block now. So new drawing from design, and uh, whatever folder you want it in, I have mine in a unit 2 file folder, and I will call this 2.1 uh, interference fit. and then save and it should take me to a new design I'm gonna use my IED one if you have it if you don't have the IED one that's fine you can use a different one and click OK and we're gonna to get to figuring out how this works so I'm gonna hit a, a front view here and hit OK and then I'm going to go ahead and make that section view so select this view and make a section view and I'm gonna have the section view come straight through the middle click up here and down here we did a section view before and I'm going to zoom in on this section view and we're going to be able to see our tolerance. So if I zoom in real close, you can see that this one's actually bigger than this one, that interference fit. So it's got to be forced in, depending on the type of material, being able to force it in. We talked about that, talked about that in class. So I'm going to add a dimension here from side to side. All right. And then I'm also going to add a dimension on the bottom from side to side. Oops, let's try that again. Dimension, and I'm gonna go from here to here. Uh, now I know that I needed three digits after the decimal, so what I will do is hit escape or cancel out of my out of this and double click that dimension. Oops, double click the dimension and I have my precision, which was three. And then my symbol, I'll insert this symbol here. Oops, we're gonna go before the dimension there, not after it it is a diameter so we will delete that and go before the symbol all right and now I need a tolerance so I'm gonna put a tolerance I'm gonna say it's symmetrical tolerance and what is my tolerance I'm not gonna enter it in I want you to enter the tolerance in what did we figure out the tolerance was for this right a bilateral tolerance how big does it have to be to continue being an interference fit we got to do a little bit of math here Okay, so but that is how you put the tolerance in. It's called symmetrical, but pretty simple. All right, 
The other thing we need is a tolerance here. We need a tolerance on this one, 0.18, and we need a tolerance on that one. So again, I would say the precision there, I would add a diameter symbol in the front. And what is my tolerance? Again, it's not 0 0.01, it's something else. What is it supposed to be? Now, since there is only a couple other dimensions, we would need to put those in there. So don't forget about the other dimensions to cre finish creating this part. So I'll just, these are not gonna matter. It's however you, how big you made it. Those are, but those only, the only other two dimensions I would need are those two dimensions. Maybe a center mark here, and then we're good to go. I'll also go ahead and put in the projected view, the 3D one, so we can see what the whole shape looks like and shade that. And this is what you're turning into me, is a, is a PDF that has all these in. If you're at home, you can just take a screenshot and turn it in. If you want to zoom in a little bit when you're taking the screenshot, go for it. Uh, but that's what we can see. So in this case, this is called an interference fit, and I should be able to see that. Because if you zoom in, you can see that this one's a little bit bigger than the other. All right, great job. Turn that in. We got our idea of how to make tolerances inside this CAD program.